In this video, I will show you how to enable the pricing tables module, uh, which is the uh, recurring payment plans that you see in front of me here. But as you can see, uh, for some reason, it's not displaying it properly uh, in the demo store. So there are four, one, two, three, four options here. Uh, I'm just gonna do one uh, when I do it as, a uh, as an example, and then you guys can do the rest. So uh, let's go to the back end and scroll down to where it says Ultimatum Pricing Tables Module. And then make sure you have it installed. And then click Edit. Click Add Module. And then let's give this a title. Uh, let's call it Recurring Payment Plans. And then for the layout, choose Home, Position, Content bottom and then status enabled and then sort order one and then let's add section. So if you look at the demo store, uh, it's, it's got an icon of the book. So I'm going to choose book, and background color, something dark, and then for the link, uh, leave it blank, select active state. I'm going to choose no and then for the title standard which is this title right here uh, price $100 period month option one got option one goes here option two goes here option three goes here and so on okay and then that's the first block. Uh, if you want to add another one, you can add another section. Uh, I won't be doing that. So let's go ahead and click Save. Go to the front end, hit Refresh. You can see the, uh, the recurring payment plans here. That's the first one that comes up. But for some reason, the, uh, the positioning is not correct. I want it to come below the Deals of the day. So uh, let's, let's go back to the back end, go to the pricing tables module, click edit. Uh, for the position, let's choose content bottom full width. Uh, for some reason, this wasn't uh, available earlier, but now it is. Um, so let's click save, go to the front end, and refresh. Okay, that looks better. Uh, so that's it for this video. See you guys in the next one.